Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Problem number two says the length of a rectangle is seven more than a number. The width is five more than that same number. If the area of the rectangle is 80 square meters, find the length and the width of the rectangle. So again, I'm looking for the length and the width of the rectangle, and I'm going to draw a figure to help us visualize what's happening in the problem. I know that the area of that rectangle is 80 square meters, so I'll label that in the diagram. Now it says the length of a rectangle is 7 more than a number. So I'm going to call that number x, and I'm going to represent the length as x plus 7, since it says 7 more than a number. It says the width is 5 more than that same number. So again, I have more than, which tells me addition. And so I'll write the expression for the width as x plus 5. Now I'm going to set up my equation. I know that area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the width. So the area will substitute 80, the length is x plus 7, and the width is x plus 5. So I have to use FOIL on the right side in order to simplify it. So I would have 80 equals x times x is x squared, x times 5 is 5x, 7 times x is 7x, and 7 times 5 is 35. I have some simplifying to do on the right side, so 80 will be equal to x squared plus 12x plus 35. Now I have a quadratic equation because of the square on the x. So I'm going to set one side equal to 0 by subtracting 80 from both sides. So 0 will be equal to x squared plus 12x minus 45. To solve the quadratic equation, I'm going to factor x squared plus 12x minus 45. So x squared is made by multiplying x times x as the first terms. And for 45, I have a choice of 1 times 45, 3 times 15, and 5 times 9. But I know that my outside-inside product, when I add them together, they have to subtract to give me 12. That means I want to use plus 15 and minus 3. Now I'm going to set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So x plus 15 would equal 0, or x minus 3 would equal 0. I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides and find out that x equals negative 15. But again, since this is length and width and a distance, I can't have a negative distance. So that answer can't be true. For the other factor, I'm going to add 3 on both sides and find out that x equals 3. So now I know that my number is 3, and I can use that to find the length and the width of the rectangle by substituting. So the width would be x plus 5, and now we know that x equals 3, so that would be 3 plus 5, which would be 8 meters for the width. And I'm going to substitute 3 for the x in the length, 3 plus 7 is 10 meters, and so I know my length is 10 meters, and my width is 8 meters.